your base saturations are low, we get a really, really strong response to potassium. As that base saturation kicks up around that three and a half percent, we still get a great response, but we're kind of hitting the top of that sigmoidal curve. And so we want to be paying attention to what is our application rate. Second question. How much yield is left in soybeans? How much yield is left in soybeans? I'm going to put it this way and Gunny's going to show you, we have a lot left to grab, right? As we're moving from that R4 to that R5, that pod fill, the bottom of our yield determination is what we're really taking care of. And so we have a massive amount of yield left to be able to grab. What nutrient would cause boron uptake to be less or lots going on up in the plant? Oh man, so boron getting locked up in the plant. So there's a little bit that goes into this and I feel like I'm kind of jumping ahead. But when we think about boron, most of our micros like boron, I want you to keep this in mind. A total soybean yield of about 60 bushels per acre. We are only going to be using ounces per acre. So when Gunny's talking about the boron duo that, we that he utilized, it's a seven and a half percent boron. You might think, man, we're not applying very much. It's something like 0 0.01 ounces of boron is going to be required per bushel of soybean. So it's a very, very small amount, but we want to make sure that we're utilizing it at the right time. And that goes back to it getting locked up in the plant. 